All right, let's try this again. Uh, first of all, uh, when I went back to the Countess's body, I forgot to pick up the boot in the hallway, but that's okay because if you don't pick it up there, you can pick it up here. I don't know why it would end up down here, but okay. Oh. Now, I think I've always thought this is kind of a stupid puzzle in the game. Basically, if you don't put Steve's boot on before he gets up, he steps on a nail and then you can never finish the game. Oh god. Yeah. Okay, so he's getting up. Be like, hi Steve, put your boot on. We love your sexy work boots. Oh, my head. What happened, Laura? Yes, Steve. I was so worried about you. No, you weren't. You thought he was cheating on you. Are you alright? Uh, I think so. I remember hearing somebody coming up behind me, and as I turned around, somebody slugged me. Cripes, my head hurts. They must have dumped you down a coal chute. Let me see where you were hit. I'm alright. I'm alright. Don't touch it. Honestly, you men can be such crybabies. Do you think you can walk? We have to get out of here. Somebody's been murdering everyone in the museum, and whoever it is is after me. I can make it. I'm with you. Where do we go? Good question. Let's go back up the col- okay, fine. It's slippery, dark, filthy, and too steeply angled for anyone to climb up inside. You well, bet you don't have any chewing gum. Yeah. What's this? A large, circular, ornately carved stone is hung on the wall here. It seems to be attached to, to upper and lower tracks, which run for several feet across the wall. Oh, I see. Like right here and right here. Uh -huh. Well, can you help us move this, Steve? This is the sole reason we need him. Okay, Steve. You've, you've exhausted your usefulness. Let's put you in the boiler now. Wow, she just zooms up there. Ooh. Hello. Oh. Steve's eyes are a lovely shade of blue, aren't they? Let's poke them. Oh! Oh dear, those aren't Steve's eyes. And they seem to be getting closer. Uh, -oh. uh really? Let's take a look at what those are. Oh great, more snakes. Uh, uh oh. This is exactly why you still want some oil before. Uh before act five. By the way, there are some hieroglyphs very faintly on the wall. I forgot what they say. I think they're like some kind of Sierra promotional thing, but I'm not sure. One of you viewers could tell us, perhaps. Hurry up, Steve. Come on. Ooh. Uh-oh. You hear the sound of gunfire from the direction of the furnace room. Sounds like someone's chasing us, Laura. Duh! Oh, really? Uh. A ravening swarm of enormous wharf rats are scurrying toward you. And by the way, if you try to run past them, they will eat you. So, the obvious thing to do is to give them some cheese, but you don't want to give them the cheese here, because if you do, they'll eat the cheese and then they'll pounce on you. So what you have to do is you have to throw the cheese somewhere behind them so that they'll run towards the cheese. Now we have two rooms here. One of them is a furnace room, and the other one is a normal room. You can throw the cheese down either one of the rooms to test which one is safe for you to go in. If you throw it down the left one, the rats will be burned. Crap. But if you throw it down the right... Ugh, they almost ate us. Ugh. Hurry up, rats. I thought you were hungry. How does that rat float in midair like that? I'd like to know. Ah! Woo! Uh oh. You watch in relief as the last of the rats scurries away. You faintly hear a so soft plops like bread dough hitting the floor coming from the doorway. I like to save the rats, just because, um, it's kind of key what happens. Alright. This is just getting sillier and sillier. I know, on. don't you just love it? Oh. Uh, wow. Steve, I think it's time for some lovin'. 
don't touch me now, Laura. Find some way to stop the murderer before he kills us. I'll stay right here and stand guard. Oh, we're getting a response. Rawr! I just vomited up a reporter and a stevedore! It's Steve! Standing guard in front of the dinosaur, hoping you'll think of something clever. I know! Alright- Oh, he's blocking me! Oh. I think I'll- Oh. Uh -oh. oh, I shot him in the head! You'll get nowhere with that holier-than-thou attitude. What? There's a hole. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. So, so if this guy had a gun the whole time, why was he chasing us with that? I don't know. Maybe he stole it from the the cult. How did he get past the cult? They said he wouldn't leave that room alive. Well, I guess he's very powerful. Wow. Anyway, this is the reason why the chapter is called Rex Takes a Bite Out of Crime. <laughs> It's Laura and Steve! <laughs> yes, it's a mirror. Alright, we made it to Act 6. What? The Coroner's Inquest. Ooh, who wants to do the voice of the Coroner? Uh, where's he from? New York. Yeah, no. Thanks. Okay. So far, so good. Keep it up. Oh, this is a New York accent? Yeah. Thank you for coming to this inquest, Ms. Bow. As the coroner on this case, I'm going to informally question you and study the evidence you've collected. If you assist me in developing a case, the perpetrators will be tried in a formal court of law. We are primarily concerned with the museum murders, but we're also interested in the theft of the dagger of Armand Raw and other matters that may have a bearing on this case. My examination of the corpses has been fruitful, but I need more evidence to build a case. Any information you can give us would help, but you must justify your conclusions with the evidence you've acquired. False accusations and unsupported conclusions will not be tolerated. Unfortunately, that's exactly what we're going to do, because I want to show the bad ending and the good ending. Although I don't wish to pressure you, your employer is also here to judge your performance on this investigation. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, Augustine is here. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Oh, uh, that's him right there. <laughs> <laughs> Since this is an informal proceeding, I have allowed it on the basis that your newspaper will cooperate with our wishes. Now, to the questions. Who murdered Dr. Pippin Carter? Who do you think, Late Blight? Uh, Dr. Pippin Carter! <laughs> oh, um... I was... Oh, he's not even in here. Oh, you can't, you can't assume that he's suicided. Okay. No. Um... Um, well, let's see who's left. I mean, I'm assuming that the murderer was not one of the people who died, so it probably wasn't Ziggy or the Countess. Um, 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 um. Oh, by golly, I don't know. Let's. I don't know. Maybe it was Ziggy. Maybe Ziggy killed him, and then that's why Ziggy died afterwards. It's... What was the motive? Uh, he was too short. Had a bad day. Who murdered Lawrence Ziggy Zigfield? Uh, let's say Lawrence Ziggy Zigfield, let's say he killed, he killed himself, I mean, he walked under the pterodactyl. Uh, accident, it was obviously an accident. It was the thrill. It was the, the thrill, thrill of the kill. <laughs> Who murdered Ernie Leach? Uh, that I, was I'd have said Mercy, actually. What's that? You, you should have picked Mercy. Oh, the mercy. <laughs> <laughs> mercy killing, that's right. Uh, who, who killed Ernie Leach? Uh, it was probably the ants, they probably ate him. Um, oh my goodness, who, I mean... Ziggy! Ziggy did it again! <laughs> because he had a mental deficiency. <laughs> to, uh, yes. This goat? Murdered event. Who murdered Yvette Delacroix? Um, that must have been Steve, obviously, because Steve's hair was caught in her hand. And he did it because, uh, out of fear. He, he was afraid that Laura would catch them, so he... Who murdered Countess Lavinia Waldo of Colton? Um, that must, well, that was the snake. Obviously, I mean, obviously it was the snake. Well, let's say Olympia. Olympia what may little? Even though Olympia found her on the desk? Well, obviously that... To protect a loved one, the snake. Yeah, exactly. She was protecting... Who, Who was, was the, the skeleton, skeleton found in the steam trunk? trunk? This one I actually figured out. Uh, it is... Uh, that's because I told you. Oh, well. Okay. Well, but I know. It, that That's Carrington, right? Yes, that's but I'm actual... just going to put Steve Dorian. Okay, let's go ahead and say it. Steve. <laughs> Who actually stole the dagger of Amun-Ra from the ancient Egypt exhibit? 
Um, I almost want to say it was Heimlich. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why, but who was the woman involved in stealing paintings from Mexico? Okay, we know that. That was yeah. the Countess. But we're gonna put. Based on your investigation, your conclusion is incorrect, Miss Bo. Two of the men who were murdered were involved with one of the female victims and plan to steal the paintings. We have a report on that woman telling us she appeared at an appointment in the medieval arm exhibit sometime after the party. Yeah, she also told us. She was unaware that her partner in crime was dead at that point, and she was seen carrying paintings. If she had been confronted at that time with evidence that her partner was dead, she might well have confessed to her crime. Who is the high priest of the Amon Ra sun worshippers? We're going to answer that in the next video. Bye-bye. Oh boy.